X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm about to say some shit that's about to piss some motherfuckers off, and quite frankly, I give no fucks. Because these motherfucking trolls want to run their mouths. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not about to name drop anybody, but I am about to speak some facts. See, for the past seven years, y'all little motherfuckers that have behind y'all screens think that it's funny to fuck with the weird kid, right? Y'all think it's funny to fuck with the dude that looks weird because I look different. And then y'all sit there and hide behind y'all's fucking screens and do the shit that y'all fucking do. I mean, y'all sit there and you do this shit for what? Few clicks, few views on your shitty fucking channels? Let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen. That's what y'all do it for, right? Sitting in your mama's basements, talking all your shit, talking about how I ain't good at shit. You know what's funny, man? Y'all sit there and talk a lot of shit, but yet y'all don't know the hard work that goes on behind the goddamn scenes. Y'all don't know what the fuck I do when cameras ain't on. Y'all don't see the hard work that I put in every day when cameras ain't on. And you know what's funny? Y'all talk real big, but you can never fucking back it up. Which I find funny as hell. You know, the only reason why I'm not putting out any music is because of you motherfuckers. Because y'all got me over here wasting my goddamn time for the last seven fucking years. Which, thankfully, since I stepped away from your bitch asses, I've been getting a lot more done. I've been more, more focused, more motivated, and more inclined to do the shit that I want to do. Like work on my music, get back into artwork, get back into game development. Get back into kicking y'all's asses and streaming again. And when I say kicking y'all's asses, I don't mean in the literal sense, nah. I mean getting past you motherfuckers and doing what the fuck I want to do as a content streamer, as a content creator. See, y'all are just fucking jealous of the weird motherfucker that was making bank. Y'all can't stand to see the weird motherfucker win. You hate seeing the weird motherfucker win. You hate seeing the weird guy win. You hate seeing the dude that looks different win. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? This weird motherfucker done passed y'all motherfuckers' asses up a long fucking time ago. And you want to know how and why? Pure fucking raw talent, hard work, and dedication, baby. See, y'all tried to shut me down a whole lot of times. But every fucking time, I came the fuck back. And I was talking to a good friend of mine that knows about every single one of you motherfuckers. And I mean every single one of you motherfuckers. He used to be part of Kiwi Farms, and he said this, and this rings very true. If I really was a pedophile, wouldn't y'all want to have me on line to expose what I've been doing, or supposedly been doing? I mean, wouldn't it make sense for y'all to let me expose myself and dig my own grave? Wouldn't it make sense for y'all to sit there and let me expose myself multiple times and then take it to the police and have me arrested? But yeah, y'all didn't do that, did you? Y'all went about it the wrong way because y'all knew you were in the wrong. Including you, you know who you are. To that bitch that set me up, you know exactly who you are, you fucking skank asshole. 
I'm not name dropping anybody because y'all motherfuckers don't deserve the recognition. But I will say this. Y'all little bitch ass trolls in the troll community are just that. A bunch of bitches. A bunch of whiny little fucking kids either in college or in high school and you're bored as fuck so you sit here on the internet and run your fucking mouths thinking that it's cute and cool to do what you do. But really, you're making yourself look dumb as fuck doing the shit you do. It don't make you badass. It don't make you cool. It makes you look like a bitch. It makes you look like a piece of shit to the rest of the fucking world. You know, it's funny. Y'all sit there and say that I'm a bad guy. But like my friend said this morning, if I truly was... If I truly was a pedophile and a bad guy, wouldn't I be out in the real world doing that shit? A real pedophile goes out there in the real world and does that shit. Y'all just throw the shit around and try to set up whoever you want for a bunch of fucking laughs. Because y'all want content. Y'all want views. And you guys go after every weirdo looking motherfucker that you see. Because you want content, you want views. You want to be fucking lazy and do bullshit for views. Instead of working hard like I do. Working hard like several other bigger YouTubers. Like Jack Set the Guy, Markiplier, PewDiePie. Like all those motherfuckers do. People like Slap Train, Black Panther, That Dude in Blue, Roman Atwood, Smosh, Ray William Johnson, Equals 3. Watch Mojo, Movie Recap, Anime Recap. All those motherfuckers put in real ass time. All those motherfuckers put in real ass fucking hard work. But y'all motherfuckers don't do shit. Because you're lazy as fuck. And you know it's funny. Y'all sit there and say that I'm a low cow. All because I still keep that fucking low cow trophy. You want to know why I keep it instead of breaking it like I should? You want to know why I keep it? To motivate me to not be like you motherfuckers. That trophy taught me to not be like you little bitches and be lazy. That shit taught me to work my motherfucking ass off for everything that I got and everything that I want to fucking get out of life. And if you think I'm just going to sit by and let y'all niggas walk all over me, think again motherfuckers, ain't going to happen. Which is why I'm sitting back here while off of YouTube laughing at you motherfuckers. Because y'all think that you're smart. Y'all think that you're slick. Y'all think that putting out fucking information that's public information. Y'all think you're being cute. You think you're being slick. You think you're, you're putting out information that ain't prob- that's private information. But really, it ain't. It's all public. The only, like I said, the only reason why y'all are doing this shit is because you're jealous of what I'm able to fucking do. Because y'all niggas can't do a half of what I fucking do. Half y'all motherfuckers don't know how to produce. Half y'all motherfuckers ain't got a voice. So you don't know how to sing, let alone do a fucking metal scream. Or any kind of vocal work. Or rap. Or anything like that. Because half y'all motherfuckers, I've heard y'all, half y'all fucking suck. And you know, it's funny. I sit here and I bust my ass doing my sim racing career a few years ago trying to get it in. And yet, y'all didn't want to show my victories. Y'all didn't want to show the times I did good. Y'all just wanted to show the times that I wrecked or fucked up or got crashed because of some other dude running into me or me fucking up and running into a wall. Nobody's perfect, motherfuckers. 
Even the best drivers in the world have their worst days. Even the best drivers in the world wreck and fuck up sometimes. It happens to the best of us. But you know what's funny? Unlike y'all motherfuckers, I have a reason for every single thing that I fucking do. I have a reason why I'm still in the car culture, why I'm still in the car community, and why I'm still a driver. I have a reason for racing. I have a reason for doing music. I have a reason for doing my own work. And I have a reason for standing up on this platform and using it to say fuck y'all. Everything I do has a purpose. I move with purpose, with intention. I move with reason, with intention, with purpose, with pride. But y'all motherfuckers move with fake shit. Y'all move with laziness. Y'all move with not wanting to do anything with your lives. I move with wanting to do something with my life. Y'all don't do shit. Y'all sit there and move with the intention to fuck people over. And you know, it's funny. Y'all can sit there and make your little shitty videos and do this and that. Because see, in a year from now, in a year or two from now, when y'all move on, because eventually y'all are going to move on, I'm still going to be over here doing my music. And by that time, you never know. I may have a fucking record deal by then. You never fucking know. And if I do get a record deal, it's going to be with a friend. It's going to be with somebody that I trust, that is noteworthy, that I respect the shit out of. And it's going to be with somebody that I know I can get along with that will have my motherfucking back no matter what against y'all motherfuckers. See, while y'all are still sitting here 10 years from now being lazy as fuck, I'm going to be playing the fucking main stages all over the motherfucking world. I'm going to be playing in the biggest fucking venues. I'm going to be playing in the biggest fucking stages in the world. I'm going to be headlining fucking tours. I'm going to be rocking out with my favorite artists, my favorite fucking bands, artists that I don't give friends with, bands that I don't give friends with. And guess what? By that time, there ain't going to be a goddamn thing y'all motherfuckers can ever do about it. So if you want a real rock and roller, you want a real fucking rock star, you want a real prodigy? You want a real mother... So if y'all think that you got what it fucking takes, instead of running y'all's mouth, how about you do this? How about you step up to the fucking mic Shut your mouth and show me what the fuck you got on the mic. How about you shut the fuck up and take it to the goddamn mic and show me what you really fucking got. Because I guarantee half y'all niggas ain't got half of the fucking talent that I got. I wasn't born with this shit. I worked my ass off on this shit. Day in and day out. Day in and day out. For 10 plus fucking years. Working my ass off. Y'all ain't got nearly the skill that I've got. I can do any style. Any style of rap. Any style of metal. Any genre of music. I can do it all, motherfucker. Because I worked my ass off. I studied my craft. I know what the fuck I'm capable of. And if you think I'm going to change who I am... Just to get a few views, you're full of shit. Because let me tell you right now, motherfuckers. I ain't changing who I am for no motherfucking body. I ain't ever changing who I am for nobody. I know we're going to change who I am for nobody.
So fuck y'all. And to all the artists out there holding it down and doing your thing, keep on doing it, man. Don't let these motherfuckers stop you, man. Y'all got this shit. Fuck these goddamn clowns on the internet wasting their time. Because that just shows they got too much goddamn time on their hands. And if they don't like what you're doing, fuck them. And to all y'all trolls, every one of y'all motherfuckers, get a life. Because uh, y'all niggas ain't ever seeing my ass again. Ever. Y'all done made me waste enough goddamn time on your little bitch asses. Now it's time for me to get what's rightfully mine and what I deserve. Now with that being said, I got fucking music to make. I got shit to do. I got a fucking album to produce, bitch. Peace, you lazy ass motherfuckers. While y'all are wasting time, I'm going to be over here doing my shit. Working like y'all should be doing, but ain't doing. I'm going to be over here working my ass off to the bone. Day in and day out. For the next hundred fucking years. Don't like it? Too bad. Don't care. Go cry to your mommy about it, you lazy motherfuckers. Miss me with the bullshit. Get off your ass and get a real fucking job. Better yet, if you want to step into my career, if y'all want to do what I do, here's a little bit of advice for you. Work your ass off like I have. As hard as I have. For all the hours that I've sacrificed. All the shit that I've done. To make those sacrifices so I can do what I need to do and maybe then we can talk motherfuckers but until then and until you're on my level and until you've done the shit that I've done to get to where I'm at y'all can't fucking say shit so either learn your craft and get better than I am or as good as I am or stay the fuck out my goddamn way Cause you're looking at the king of Akron, motherfuckers. And there ain't a goddamn motherfucker on the face of this goddamn earth that's gonna get in my way.